and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a pattern fill. Let us create our own pattern here and I want to have a circle where I apply the pattern to. I hold control when I drag the circle and this rectangle, then control D to copy the rectangle. I give that a different color. I select both, control D, drag that downwards, click on it again, hold control to rotate it. The snapping is enabled as you can see. I'll select it all, control G to group it. This is my pattern, I want to apply it to the circle. Make sure it's all selected, then go to object, pattern, objects to pattern. And right here for the fill, you've got this pattern icon that you can click and there's a drop down where all of the patterns are stored. So there are some defaults, any other ones they are just given random numbers. Let me go over some of the defaults. You can see it's directly applied to this rectangle group. And this is the pattern that we've created. Now let's select the circle, go to the pattern, find in the drop down the pattern with the number, and it's this one. But it's way too big for the circle. We can use the notes tool to readjust that, but don't apply it to the circle. You may have to zoom out to find these three icons. The X, it repositions the pattern. The square, it scales it, so we can make it smaller. When you hold control, it does so in certain increments, and the circle, it rotates it. Once again, hold control, and it'll rotate in certain increments. When you've got what you want, just select it with the cursor tool and you can export it. Let me do it the other way around, so we can also create a circle pattern and apply it to a rectangle. So let me select this one. I give it a regular fill. I size it down and I size the rectangle up. Now let's select the circle, object, pattern, and objects, pattern. There it is, 2814. Select your rectangle, use a pattern fill, 2814. To adjust it, we need the notes to again zoom out a little bit. There are three icons. I'll scale it down first. I do so by a lot. I'll rotate it slightly. And this is the basic process of applying a pattern to any object. Once you've done that, you can treat it as a regular object, simply export it. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.